Hey Virgo, welcome to your September reading. Happy freaking birthday. I hope that you're having a beautiful time. I hope that this next year is amazing for you. Wishing you so much love, so much positivity and blessings. Wishing you good health, good wealth and abundance. We're going to see what's going on for you for the month of September. Get you some insight, get you some guidance, overall see what is going on, what spirit wants you to look out for or be aware of. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. All right, so Virgo, let's see. What is going on for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in September. What's coming towards Virgo? What can Virgo expect over these next couple of weeks? Show me clearly what's going on for Virgo. So we have the oyster coming out. We also have the crow and the stingray. Ooh, okay. All right. Zebra at the bottom, camel and the whale. Very interesting. Very interesting. You got a lot of water, a lot of water showing up. So you might be feeling very in tune with the emotions, very in tune with your intuition. You might be feeling more sensitive than usual. Um, this might just be more of like an emotional time for you. So you have a decision to make. I see you being at some sort of crossroad in the month of December. You have some sort of decision about some sort of like new beginning, taking a leap of faith. Honestly, with this earthworm, I got the image of like, fishing like <laughs> like using the the earthworm as bait and like i got that's the image i got in my mind's eyes like a fishing rod and like you're you're about to like throw in the reel or like throw in the line or whatever it's like yeah it's like the final moments before you like take that swing like you're getting ready for something or like you're preparing for something or i feel like this is leading up there's a build-up okay so that's that's honestly what i'm feeling with my mind's eyes you're getting there's like this lead up to some sort of adventure because the zebra is all about adventure and taking risks and taking some sort of gamble or taking some sort of trip um both the zebra and the camel some of you could be making some sort of major move or traveling or you're like completely stepping out into this unknown territory stepping out of your comfort zone and intuitively you feel that this is the right choice to make both the crow and the whale talk about your intuition and following your inner guidance and like really trusting yourself and feeling this deep calling to do something or to pursue or go somewhere and so you're needing to listen to that i feel like you're opening up to some sort of idea opening up to some sort of position or place or even a person or you're opening up to something with their oyster you know the whole saying the world is your oyster seriously it feels like september is a turning point for you or there's like a pivotal turning point about some sort of decision that you're making that changes your life completely so you could be opening up to your intuitive gifts and abilities you might be a natural mystic yourself natural healer or reader light worker yourself you might be really tapping into your gifts and abilities and the stronger it becomes the more you use it so that's really exciting and so then you kind of have a decision or you're at a crossroad with your life about like okay what's this next step what's this next path what's this new direction so you do have some pretty important decisions to make and it seems like this choice will also have some sort of influence on the people that are closest to you people that are like near and dear people that you live with or people that you're connected to someone you're in a relationship with like siblings or family might be affected by this decision um some of you you could also this is a specific message but there could be someone that you're kind of questioning like should i intervene should i step in should i help this person like you know you're kind of at this crossroad where like do i share the information i know like you might have this deep inner knowing about something that has nothing to do with you but maybe it's someone else and you're like should i tell them or should i just mind my business like that's a really specific message don't know if that's for everybody listening but you know you could be kind of contemplating like should i share what i know should i share this knowledge should i open up or should i just keep my mouth shut like that's for some of you you could be kind of contemplating whether or not you should like open up to something or someone or like if you're questioning should i open this door if so yes no like you're trying to your intuition will help you with that like when it comes to this choice or this decision you'll know what to do maybe give it a little bit of time but you'll you'll know what the best path is for you but i do see you need to take some sort of leap of faith or in september you are stepping out of your comfort zone and um yeah like 
intuitions coming through so strongly even with the zebra right even with the third eye being highlighted in the zebra it's like there's something like you can kind of foresee or you're able to kind of like you have this deep inner knowing of like what's coming your way or you have this you're anticipating something and you, there's a lot of excitement Ooh, all right let's let's pull some tarot messages let's see what's going down for you virgo summonizing venus what's going on for virgo in the month of september what can my virgos expect for this month ahead and the insight wisdom guidance for virgo summonizing venus in september all right let's see let's get into it so strength coming out leo energy you might be dealing with a leo um this could be connected to venus in leo right now venus has gone direct but we still kind of have this energy lingering till about october but so this is definitely this is the energy of support this is the energy of okay not a pentacles at the bottom this is where you are supporting yourself and you're needing to when it comes to you focusing on your future and making plans for your future you're needing to really put yourself first nine of pentacles is a card of independence a card of like self-establishment and confidence and your health so i see you know you're supporting yourself slash in september the things that you're involving yourself in or you're taking part of it supports you on your path towards independence and freedom and happiness and you know being good like well-being i definitely see like health is a focus for a lot of you a good outlet for if you're feeling like really down in the dumps or sad like just focusing on you know yourself and your health but this is you know whatever struggles that you may have been dealing with you will get through them but i need i need more cards need some more info what's going on for leap oh i was about to call you libra maybe you're dealing with a libra i just did libra's reading so that could be why but anyways what's going on for virgo oh that five of cups was meant to come out damn virgo so you kind of going through a bit of a heavier time emotionally six of cups is at the bottom so there could be some past things being brought up we are in mercury retrograde and mercury is retrograding in your sign right so you're definitely feeling the effects of that plus mercury is your ruler so this might be bringing up like some past memories reminiscing on old relationships how things used to be versus where they are now there's a bit of like this nostalgic vibe in the air wishing things were different and just kind of like you know you're needing support you're needing to open up to the people that you trust maybe that's also going back to the oyster and the stingray like do i open up to these people do i let them know what i'm going through kind of i'm seeing uh, back with that camel and the whale like you're dealing with these emotions kind of on your own or kind of to yourself a little bit emo here i'm seeing um but i am seeing you getting out of that heavier energy but yeah five of cups and strength like this is indicating like you have the strength to overcome this heaviness and these struggles it's more to do with like things that you're dealing with internally six of cups and the two of swords so this could be again it's a choice you might have some sort of decision or you're at some sort of crossroad and maybe you feel emotional about it or kind of like <sighs> heavy about this choice what's going on for virgo in september what's going on for virgo in the month of september four of swords you need some time to heal you need some time to rest this is the energy where you need to sit with your emotions sit with your feelings honor them embrace them yeah it's kind of it's blue right you're feeling blue maybe you're sad that like you know another year has gone by you've grown so much so much has changed so much has happened from the beginning of this year like think about a year ago right maybe you got the birthday blues are you feeling a little bit blue on your birthday you know maybe you're feeling like lonely or you're missing someone or four of swords there could be like you're feeling a bit detached or withdrawn from your connections or you're feeling like maybe you just need more sleep or you're just sleeping a lot more lower energy not so like motivated like you know maybe you're feeling really like stuck right now spirit wants you to slow down slow your ass down this is the time to just kind of like ease off guilt free okay if you need to take a day if you need to take a break if you need to take some time out for yourself do so and do not get don't guilt yourself for that um I am seeing that there's deep healing taking place as well and we have the wheel of fortune at the bottom which i'm really glad that's coming out so it is indicating that you will be getting out of this kind of funk it is just like a period let's see underneath the wheel of fortune queen of pentacles you're going to be bouncing back babes this is your energy queen of pentacles earth 
So you're going to be bouncing back in no time. I also see improvement in your finances. And yeah, six of swords. I see improvement in your finances, your career, your stability. Yeah, you're back on your boss shit. Queen of swords. Clearing out any bullshit, any drama. Ooh, anything that's been burdening you. Ten of wands. You're clearing that out. You're like you're letting go of some emotional stuff. So, you know, cry it out. Yell it out. Get out those feels. But know that you will get past this and that this this is just like a moment, okay? Um... All right, what else is going on for Virgo? What else is going on for Virgo in September 2023? Messages for Virgo. Queen of Cups. And that fell, that fell right up on that Five of Cups. So, yeah, it's like you're deep in the feels about something. There's something you're kind of upset about, but it's about you needing to really honor those emotions. You need to really follow and trust your gut, okay? Your, your gut is trying to guide you towards something, and you are needing to go inwards. At the bottom, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Emperor... We also have the fool. I do see, see there's that new beginning. Ooh, ace of pentacles. See, some of you have like a new job lined up or you're kind of, okay, you got options though. Seven of cups. You got options. You might be feeling a little bit uncertain about what it is that you want. You're kind of like juggling a few, perhaps, um, kind of feeling a little bit lost in the current. They're trying to figure out what makes you happy. Seven of cups in the sun. What would make you happy? It's like, you might be kind of, in this crisis like you, some of you maybe are having like a midlife crisis or even if it's not midlife wherever however old you are you're like having a crisis you're like oh my god i feel lost in my path and i don't know what makes me happy i don't know what to do i don't i just don't know i just want to be happy but what does that even look like what does that even feel like like you know maybe you've been feeling really down in the dumps for like quite some time and you're just trying to figure out how to get your balance back you got to start from within okay you got to start from within you got to you gotta find yourself. There's a little bit of soul searching I'm seeing taking place in September. I do think you need a trip or you need to go somewhere new or like get some new scenery. You know, get out of your comfort zone. Start start up a conversation with a stranger. You know, like you're needing to really um, explore, explore. You know, you're maybe going back to school or like studying something or learning a new language or like, you know, really like. Like you're needing to like, I feel like there's this need for learning and like exploring and I don't know, just like you're needing to get out of this funk and you are, you totally, totally are. And with the fool and the ace of pentacles, so there's this new start. This is something that's like slow though. Ace of pentacles is normally like a slower kind of energy. It takes like months or even years for this to build or establish itself, but it's worth it. This is possibly about um, some sort of like, I'm kind of getting entrepreneur vibes or like business owner vibes or like maybe this starts off as like a side hustle or something that you do for fun or like something you do, you know, here and there, like maybe a couple times a month or, but I see it becoming more serious. I see you taking this in more seriously as time goes on. I feel like you're going to commit to this more often. It's, it kind of starts off with like, you know page of pentacles it's just an idea or something that you do casually but i see you taking this more serious ace of pentacles and the emperor and the fool i see like you have the opportunity in september to really make this like full time especially if this is something to do with your career or your finances or if this is like something that you're trying to like launch or like some sort of project or some sort of hustle again business for somewhere if this is a new job like maybe you're going from part-time to full-time like or like stepping up your position from being just like you know just like i just i feel like you're in need of like massive expansion this is the month where expansion is coming definitely near the end of the month full moon in aries because this is aries energy we have that full moon in aries on the 28th so i do, and we have the fool which is aries energy so around the 28th this is where you are going to get more clear with what you want. Aries, the first house. I am. You're getting clarity about how you feel. Maybe you're an Aries rising. Hell, I don't know. But you're getting clarity about like what you want, what makes you happy, what fulfills you, and what you want to invest your time, your money, your energy into. And yeah, you're, I just see you getting focused. I see you getting back on track. So if you've been kind of feeling off the rails for a little bit or way too invested in the feels and you've been having way too many down days, I see you bouncing back getting stronger and happier and more content more fulfilled with life okay you're gonna get clarity about what actually makes you happy here and for some it's about you like leaving behind or like taking some sort of risk or like i don't know just getting out there getting out in the world like taking some sort of leap of faith or getting out of your comfort zone or like <sighs> yeah something like that okay all right 
I'm gonna use this deck. Let's see. Five of Cups. What's up? What's up, Virgo? Why are you in the field? What are you sad about? Why are you in the mood? Why are you in this funk? Five of Cups for Virgo. What is the matter? Why are you feeling blue? Tell me about the Five of Cups for Virgo in September. Five of Cups for Virgo. Why is Virgo feeling this way? What's the matter? Probably this Five of Cups for Virgo in September. What is this heaviness? What is this sadness? Wheel of Fortune. Change. The changes that you're going through, right? Change is scary. Change is exciting. Change is everything, right? Everything's changing. Your feelings are changing too. Like everything. And you're scared and you're overwhelmed. Eight of Swords at the bottom. You're feeling a bit like frozen. Um, unable to move forwards having difficulty even expressing yourself when someone asks you virgo what's wrong you're like you can't even seem to put it into words you just kind of like uh, you can't even make sentences you don't even even if you try to explain it so you're unable you, you almost some of you you feel like if you were to explain like people wouldn't get it or like people would just think that you're being dramatic or like it's not that big of a deal or you know like you you might be kind of like watering down your feelings or like just having a hard time expressing them so i kind of see going to that five of cups and the four of swords i see you kind of withdrawn or kind of just dealing with these emotions kind of in private even with the queen of cups in this deck i always kind of see her more as like reserved or kind of like you know cautious of who she like shares her emotions with she's holding her cup pretty close and she's kind of got a little bit of like a stank face <laughs> like she's kind of got she's kind of like resting bitch face like side eye like you know i don't know i just think that's kind of funny so it's just when it comes to people asking you like what's the matter you're like oh nothing like nothing's wrong like what are you talking about five of cups for virgo nine of swords there's just like a lot of like Damn, let me let me just get more cards on this five of cups. I'm totally I feel this energy from you. Uh it's about the changes that you're going and you're feeling so like uncertain. Seven of Cups. Like you're just feeling a little lost. You're feeling like you need a little more direction. You're not quite sure where you want to go in life and you know, maybe things that you thought you wanted, you don't really want anymore. You don't really resonate with that anymore. Like, your perspective and your feelings are changing. And, like, there's so much around you that's changing. Relationships, there's things from your past that are bothering you, that are haunting you. That Nine of Swords. And you're just trying to move forwards, Eight of Wands. But at the same time, you're still feeling like there's this push-pull. Ah, uh, uh, it's, it's, um, what? What planets are in Pisces right now? That's the opposite of you, Virgo. So I think, isn't that like, is it, is it, is it Neptune that's it? No, Saturn's in Pisces. Oh, is that it? Is that it? The little push-pull with that sun? Yeah, that would make sense. You're So you're kind of feeling this push-pull, right? It makes sense. Okay. So it makes sense. You're kind of in this feels for a little bit. Definitely when we head into Libra season, that's going to lighten. It's definitely going to lighten for you. And you won't be so deep down in the funk but so i think you need to find like healthy outlets and um just kind of you got to ride out this this little wave but let's see this new path the page of pentacles the fool emperor ace of pentacles let's look into this new stuff for you page of pentacles so this is where you're needing to just keep an open mind right keep an open mind and this is where you're needing to kind of branch out branch out reach out maybe even to others Page of Pentacles for Virgo. Tell this Page of Pentacles for Virgo in September. What is this Page of Pentacles about for Virgo in the month of September? Thank you. Ten of Cups. Some of you are thinking about moving right the sun the seven of pentacles i see this is something that you've been anticipating okay ace of wands and the four of swords so as you're in this heavy in the feels moment kind of just feeling a little stuck a little uncertain things from your past trying to move forwards you know you're still trying to keep your faith right there's this one thing there's this one idea 
that you've kept in your back pocket and you're like well at least i still have this thing like although this this that might not be 100 percent, might be a little rocky or a little intense a little emotional like when you're in this resting mode and you're kind of just in isolation also by the way you are so freaking protected your guides your angels ancestors are around you you're always being watched over don't doubt it for a second but so this when you're in this healing and resting mode this four of swords when you're in this mode where you're feeling your feels and you're letting yourself just have those down days have those moments honoring your emotions that's where you're going to be hit with inspiration four of swords to the nine of pentacles oh, sorry nine of cups that's where you're going to be hit with this inspiration where all of a sudden your dreams you're getting pay attention to your dreams too but you're getting hit with inspiration you're getting hit with these ideas you're starting to get clarity about what it is that you want what it is that you desire what it is that you want to have more of that you want to experience in life underneath that the tower and also what changes you need to make in order for that to happen in order for that to begin and so as you're in that four of swords mode that's where all these seeds are starting to be planted these intentions that you're starting to to get and it's about your long-term happiness and fulfillment and you know you're thinking a lot about your future and you're thinking a lot about your family some of you you're thinking about like the desire to have a family one day or wanting to settle down or this could be about where you want to live or maybe you're really starting to think about again like there's some even that seven pentacles something you've been waiting something you've been anticipating or expecting it's like i see it coming to fruition ace of wands i see that this is a new beginning here it's tied to the fool in this ace of pentacles it's going to take a lot of work okay it's going to take a lot of effort it's going to take a lot of consistency but it's something that's gonna that's the happiness that you've been like wanting right that you've been lacking that you've been missing like you're coming into such a time of your life this is like a turning point for you virgo let me look into um let's take a look into this ace of pentacles and the fool it's like whenever you're ready to make the first move whenever you're ready to take the first step you're in full support tell me the fool and the ace of pentacles for virgo tell me about the fool and the ace of pentacles for virgo what is this new start this new beginning Strength. Oh my god, full circle moment. Full circle moment, Leo energy. Come with the fool and the ace of pentacles. So this is indicating you can't do this alone. This path, you can't do it alone. You can't do it by yourself. You're gonna need people you can rely on. You're gonna need a freaking team. You're gonna need full support. Alright? You're gonna need to like let down your walls and let others help you. Or like you're gonna need to let down, you know your guard and open up to the people that you trust and let them know what's on your mind let them know what you're feeling let them know let just you know you there needs to be a safe place where you can express these things okay especially as you're showing up as the emperor like you're tough you're strong you don't need nobody you independent right that's great but also an emperor he didn't just build his empire by himself he's got his whole freaking community he's got his whole freaking knights and queens and like he's got he's got so much behind him that got him to his state so it's like you're trying to like level up you're trying to like boss up you're trying to expand and build in your life but you're gonna you can't do it all by yourself you can't do it all by yourself seven of cups <laughs> you're, you're like you're like you got so many options you got a lot on your plate and again like you need to lower down these options and figure out exactly what it is that you want what does that look like feel like taste like smell like like get clear and visualize that shit make a board make a storyboard make a plan like i don't fucking know just like get clear with what you want so that it can come towards you talk about the fool and the ace of pentacles the star reverse and see and there's part of you that's like doubtful about this or you're a bit pessimistic about this or you know there's part of you that's like hesitant to or you're not you're having a hard time believing in the magic you have to believe you have to believe and i know it might be hard to three of three of swords at the bottom where there's a lot of hurt a lot of pain disappointments that you've gone through in your past and you've just gone through some rocky shit too so you're trying to move in this new direction it's kind of hard to stay optimistic all the damn time but you truly are capable of manifesting 
the desired outcome that you want this wish fulfillment you have the ability to you feel a little stuck though hang man i see you feel a little bit stuck or it's a little bit stagnant you know what though it is about your perspective and you needing a change of scenery you really need to switch some things up in your environment even moving around your furniture hell even just rearranging some things in your home in your room you know clear some things out do a little bit of cleaning maybe throw some things out donate donate some things i don't care but sometimes even doing things like that changes up your energy maybe you're needing to physically get up and go see some new shit go to a new place go touch some grass <laughs> um you know you're needing to get out of your comfort zone sometimes a change of scenery is all that it takes to get you out of a funk all right you need to see things from a new perspective you need to find something that's worth fighting for five of wands all right let's let me let me just look into the emperor real quick what do we need to know about the emperor for virgo oh my god where did it go knight of pentacles okay so see like i said this is like a slow process this is you planning and prepping preparing yourself for the next step preparing yourself this is also you like i see you like writing down a plan knight of swords things are going to pick up for you really quickly the ball is going to start to move we also have, oh look at that five of cups is sticking out right using this pain using this hurt using this as like motivation as fuel i see that's fueling you oh ten of swords at the bottom damn i didn't even notice that yeah nasty painful ending that you went through either recently or you know something that still has a massive effect on you that you've been doing a lot of like soul searching a lot of digging a lot of trying to find yourself and here it is ace of pentacles this is the opportunity this is it this is the new start this is where you are starting to open up see how this chest is like opening up you're starting to open up to this new path this new direction this new vision and again there's something about the full moon in aries that's relevant for whoever i'm reading for whoever i'm speaking to um something around the full moon in aries is going to give you a lot more direction a lot more clarity about your path so kind of from now to then i know that i know that's like plenty of time like three or so weeks we have lots of time from now to then for things to really fall into place you're needing to trust yourself you need to trust the divine oh yeah judgment at the bottom you need to trust that this is all working out for your highest purpose and although you may not be able to see the full picture right now that there's a little bit of some intuitive blind spots like there's some things that aren't available to you at the moment or you may feel that are out of reach but trust that there is like a right time and a right place and so things right now might be kind of slow at the moment but you're getting your bearings straight and again we're in mercury retrograde we're supposed to take it slow this is not the time to rush but i'm feeling once mercury goes direct which is some i don't have the exact date i should know this but i don't somewhere near the end of the month um end of september again probably i'm feeling like around full moon in aries is when things are really going to get going or like libra season for you okay so around the 21st 22nd things are really going to get in movement and you're going to be busy and your whole life is going to change okay so hang in there virgo Whew, that's intense for your birthday right you're like damn i'm sorry if you're going through it around this time it's like it should be a time of like celebrating yourself and if that's not the case right now i'm sorry but this next year for you gonna be full of lots of great things and this is just the beginning and you know you're only going up from here you're only going up from here you're not gonna go lower you're only going up from here okay so if you feel like you're going backwards, it's because you're getting ready to be shot forwards. There's going to be this big push in your life. So, all right. Any advice, any final thoughts, final messages for Virgo? We have Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? So seriously, this is a time of self-care, replenishment, healing, resting, rejuvenation, nurturing the hell out of yourself, okay? If this, if you, if what you are going through, if you could picture like your younger self, like a child, like you as a toddler and you were crying as like a toddler, you would mother that little kid. You would give it lots of love. You'd give it hugs. You'd bake that little kid little cookies. Like nurture yourself. Do those kinds of things for yourself, Okay. Give yourself that comfort and that reassurance that you need. All right, what else can you tell Virgo? Any other messages or advice? You need to, like, allow yourself to feel safe. You need to also get grounded. It says 
get grounded and past highly sensitive and connect with nature that's another advice for you is to really connect with gaia connect with earth you know walk on that grass barefoot do some grounding exercises hug a tree go be by water you know be around the elements Take a break as at the bottom. Okay, take a break. Life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. Some of y'all take a freaking break, especially if you've been like exercising a lot for like literally the treadmill, right? You've been exercising a lot. You've been just going at it nonstop, not giving yourself breaks. Give yourself rest days. Let your body heal. That's the specific message for someone, okay? Take it a little bit easier. Take your foot off the gas pedal, okay? It's all good. Guilt fucking free, all right? <laughs> i'm gonna leave you reading here virgo i'm sending you lots of love positive energy i'm wishing you such a happy birthday season and a, a beautiful new year for you and um you got this good things are just around the corner so hang in there take it easy um and i will let you go okay i'll talk to you in the next one bye